So let's do some analysis real quick. So, if you believe that there can be no son without a father, that means you believe that only one father can create a son. And do you believe that it was the same father that created that son, created this son? Or was it a different father that created that son, created this son? You see, I'm talking about two creations here. The son and the son. Both creations lies in the heart of the world, the solar system. Both lies in the heart of the Christian, the Muslim, or other religious isms. One is more than 100 billion stars in the Milky Way. One is actually the way where you cannot find your way in the Milky Way. I'm talking about the son of man and the son for man. You see, the earth makes a complete revolution around the sun every 365 days. And we add a year to our sun's age every 365 days. 93 million miles away from the earth. We are so close like the sun in our hearts. When you do the maths, assuming we are started counting from 7 billion BC, you will see how many fathers this sun has fathered, the amount of energy the sun has provided. You see, before a father can create a son, that father must first acknowledge that there is indeed a son. A son whose father is so great. He created your father, my great-grandfather. He has fathered me and fathered my father. My source of power. Power equals energy. Energy equals light. The son is our source of light. The son is the way, the truth, and the light. You can only find your way to the father with him or through him. The Elohim, they call him. The demon, many hymns. Without him, the world would have completely been dim. See, he fills my morning gladness to the brim. Blessed, the only potentate, the king of kings, king of kings Lord, Lord of Lords. Yes, yes, that is him. He created the heavens and the earth. His breath warms the earth. Not that dwelleth upon the earth shall worship him. Seraphim and cherubim, all creations worship him. Walid Yaqub, wa Ishaq, wa Ibrahim. The first and last of the Greek alphabet. He is super, but I'm not talking about super bit. Yet his ways are mega. His photo has been described with the most number of sentences. He's a reason for the biological principle, photosynthesis. So from Genesis, ladies and gentlemen, let's count our blessings. Let's divide our losses for our profits. Multiply the benefits. What is your answer? I know your answer is God. The answer to the most complex mathematical equations. 5x plus 2y equals 5,000. Where x is bread and y is fish. I don't care whether it was taller or 1,000. He fed 5,000 people. He healed a cripple. So what is your problem? Just bring it. He will solve them. Or not, or did that could be what a paradigm? Or this is Messiah Brosai. Or not, it's not done. Mom, I'm not so rich. Thank you. Thank you.